Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today a little comparison and or project I've been working on, I guess. So I have loved Uhuhu's for about four years. I got my first set of Uhuhu, Oahu, Fine Nib, so it's fine and chisel back in 2000. So they're the old number system with the one, two, three, four, five. I kind of wish they would have stayed with that number system just because, you know, they've switched a couple of times. It's my biggest gripe with the Hoo-Hoo's is definitely their number system. But I've swatched, I swatch everything out. It's just, even with my Copics, I've swatched them all out. It makes finding colors that match and blend a lot easier. But that's not really why we're here today. I will get into it. I'm going to hopefully try to do this as a series and we will kind of delve into that as we go. But the big thing today I wanted to present was I did. So for Christmas, I got myself the Uhuhu Honolulu B. And so if you're looking at you know, breaking in and getting them, that would be the set I would go for first, I guess, because they have the brush and the fine tip. So if that's something you like to color with, if you like, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you a few different things. There's pros and cons to both. I prefer the bullet knit or the, I don't know, they call it fine, but I call it the bullet nib. I prefer the Oahu ones only because I color a lot of smaller images. I do struggle though when I color a larger area. Either I have to use the broad side, which I'm better at now than I was when I started, but sometimes I just like the brush feel when you're trying to get the that light brushed look on your project, especially for like wood grains, those types of things. Hair sometimes is easier to do with a brush than with a bullet style nib. So to they both have their cons, their pros and their cons. But the other thing with Uhuhu's is that they don't match letters and numbers across the two between the Honolulu and the Oahu. And it's frustrating as for me as a paper crafter or as a colorist, I like to be able to switch things. I want to be able to go from my bullet nib to my brush nib and back and forth. And there's color combos out there. If you look hard enough, Jessica Squirrel has on her blog and the Fab Five Paper Crafters I think Facebook page, all of her color swatches. They are all done in mostly Honolulu, I do believe. You'd have to look at her post to see what they're done in, but they're the Honolulu colors. And so for me, I love that she did all that work already, but I'm going to have to convert them over, right? So when we were talking about it, because we chat markers and crafty stuff all the time, and I said, I want a list. I started one a few years ago, back in 20, I think 2022, when I got this set. I wanted a list between this one and my old number system, the one, two, three, four, five, because the markers all are the same for the most part. I added to them and so I wanted to be able to use my old ones up before I broke into my new ones in, you know, try to use up the old before I break into the new and use up the ink in them. I don't want my set to go to waste. They won't go to waste. I'm going to end up using them for classes, but it's nice to be able to go back and forth. I did note that a lot of them have similar name or same names. And so I had also picked up the Honolulu B back then the because my biggest thing was they didn't have a lot of the lighter colors or tones and so I picked up the Honolulu B pastels and so but there was colors that were the same in the Oahu line and so I was like well let's see if they color match and so I did all the work it took me hours I'm not kidding I probably spent about 40 to 50 hours compiling my list double checking my list color swapping my list is finally complete it is 13 pages guys 13 pages not all of the markers from each each line match each other if that makes sense some of them don't I'm gonna bring in my already swatched ones which are my rough draft ones I have not gotten my final copy swatched yet it will be one of those things I need to do in the coming weeks and 
you know, as I get there, I get there. So these are actually available on my Etsy shop. It's $3 for all 13 sheets. So it goes through all of the colors from the Ohuhu line and the Honolulu B line. I'm pretty sure Honolulu B and Honolulu A are the same exact line, at least from what I could tell and or see. The other thing is I did include my old Oahu 200 fine nib marker ones on there as well. If I had it, I put it on there. I like all my information in one place. I plan on doing a binder with all of my color swatch, like my swatch sheets. Let's see if I can find, I don't have anything where it's normally at just because I've been busy computering. But I have a clipboard with my color swatches for the whole thing so I can see and go and do all those things. But it's nice to be able to reference it and go back and forth. So with that being said, let me do some quick ones on this video and then I will do a second one releasing. I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes. So I will go back and go through some of the things I found this time, but I will kind of explain how I do my color. Um, words are escaping me. My color swatches in my next video. So for this one, I did it all in alphabetical order per color family. I did it this way because it was hard to find, because if you have one set over the other, I didn't want to have the Honolulu ones all in, you know, numerical order, and then the other ones where you're gonna be haphazardly looking forever for them. And so the easiest way that I felt I could do that was to do them in alphabetical order. It also helped me find doubles within my sets. And so that's kind of how I compiled it and went from there. So I started with the yellows. I planned on doing, you know, kind of in color order, but it doesn't always go as planned. So I did yellows and then I'm going to actually bring in my new ones just because they're, they're done in a way that I think is easiest to organize. It ended up being 13 pages instead of 12. So I added a page, but I thought it was easier to handle and read. So each page is going to have, you know, name, Honolulu brush, Oahu fine, old Oahu 200, if that's something that you need. If you don't need it, just ignore that column, use it for something else. And then notes. The other thing is if you're not using the old Oahu ones, you can use this line to write in the corresponding Copic that might match. I do have a couple of them that I know, and I will always add them onto my blog if I find them for you. Um, so things that I found with this one. So I did yellow, then I went to orange, red, purples, or violets. Just, it was just kind of how the colors, you know, when you're doing the graphing kind of flow. So purples to blues, blues to greens, and then earth tones, and then of course grays. And so the grays I did a little bit different. I'll talk about that when we get there. But some of the quirky things in the set, almost all of the color names matched number wise. So that's why I made sure I swatched them all out on the original one, just because I wanted to make sure that my colors matched across the two sets. It's not something I did with my other one. And so I've it took the time this time to actually do it. And so one of the outliers was Buttercup Yellow, which is Y120 in the Honolulu one. Oahu has a Buttercup Yellow. It is not the same color at all. Like, totally not the same color. Like, it was, yeah, this one here and that one there. They're totally different. And so... It was one of those that I noted anything that I had on the side in my notes column. You can use that for your notes. The other thing that I noticed, so some of them are YRs or just Ys or Y and E. And so I will have a duplicate indicated next to those saying that they are going to be on the list twice because I put them in both color families. That way it's easier if you're looking through from this line to that line, it'll be easier to find it. I hope that makes sense. It made sense to me when I did it. I was pondering erasing and I thought, you know, like mahogany, it's in the yellow or it's in, the, it's in Y112, which doesn't make sense. 
but it's also an E357 in the other. So I put them on both yellow and then the earth tones. So I felt it was easier to locate things when I was looking for stuff. The other primrose, there is two spellings. And I don't understand why they did it the way they did it, but the Honolulu set has a primrose that is spelled with an I, and then they have a primrose without an I. And the same marker tone in the Oahu, which is primrose but with an I, is color match to the primrose without an I in the Honolulu line. I did note that the spelling doesn't match, but the color does, because that was one of those, there was just, I think there was only two or three that were like funky like that. So I definitely put them on there for you. Anything that I had note-wise was kind of the only, the only way to do it. There's a few that, you know, some of them aren't in the Honolulu line. Jessica and I were talking and she's like, I wish they had more browns. And I'm like, when I did it, the Oahu line has 12, I think we counted, it was about 12 more browns than the Honolulu kind. And the Oahu has all of the yellow grays, which are different than the Honolulu yellow grays. Like they have the full yellow grays and then the two added ones that are in the Honolulu ones, but they're different tones. It's it's kind of weird. So when I did the grays, I did them differently. It's It was hard to decide how to do them because the Honolulu grays are named differently than the Oahu grays. And that was one of those like, are you kidding me? Like we couldn't even stay with the same whole name like when you started it, but it was what it was. So the Honolulu, I have them separated out as blue grays and then the Oahu blue grays. And I tried to color match everything tonally, if that makes sense. So I made sure, let me see here if I get, I'll get this one out for you. So like my blue grays, I made sure that my colors matched across the board with them, if that makes sense. So if you can see that. But then if you're looking, if you're in the Oahu's, their names are different. And so if you're trying to find markers that match between one or the other, I do a lot of my stuff. A lot of my older stuff is all in the Ahuhu line. And so to get those color conversions over to the, the Honolulu line, I just find it easier to go, okay, it's, it's this one in Oahu, blue gray 31, 031, which is this, one and it's that one in that one so i don't know if that helps you i hope it does to me it made sense to do it that way it was a little extra work but i think it'll be worth it in the end when i do it just make sure when you're swatching them to do both the top and the bottom ask me how i know <laughs> it was one of those oh i need to go back so that was one of the things that i noticed the other thing is there's I tried to go, I went on the site and watched, matched their color. So they have a few refills. I think they have 55 refills. Most of them are all for the Honolulu. There aren't any that are specifically for the Oahu yet, but some of them do cross over. So keep that in mind. I'm. They did say they're coming out with more. I think they will be adding to those as they go. They also do the new brush nibs. I think there's six in a pack for four bucks, which are really good. And I did it on one of my markers where I added, I don't know if it's, this one's a fine and the other, but I had a, I had a brush one that had the broad nib on this side and I switched out the broad nib for that brush nib and it worked. So it, you know, I wasn't worried cause I bought a blender pack. So if it didn't work, it didn't work. It wasn't a huge deal to me. So the other thing was, so on the website, they had the color the color match for, I think it's cool gray to seven is on the website and it is supposed to match the BG082 on the Uhuhu line. So anything that I have a closest match to is going to have its number and then in parentheses it's going to have which marker. If it's H, it's the Honolulu. If it's an O, it's the Oahu. And so this one was my original color match, 
but the website has that this one so you know it could have been mine was faded I didn't have enough color like if I colored it two layers on my thing instead of one it might have adjusted the color I put that on there just because it was odd to me that my one marker was different colored than the other one which are supposed to be the same color and then anything that I could find that was going to be the closest match I put on there it was the closest match in that that brand so some of them because they don't have enough and they don't have every color in each one the biggest one that we you know for the most part they're pretty full the red grays were a little bit odd and the top two are going to be different tones than the bottom five, four I don't understand why they're different tones but they are it's they probably blend okay it's just it, when you're looking at them they looked different the other thing is so the yellow grays which was the big the big one there's just only those two colors and in the Honolulu and so I did not find matches for them in to the Oahu yellow grays there's just not it's one of those that's missed so there are more color colors in the Honolulu line and there's more grays and earth tones in the Oahu line so if that's something that matters to you I have not gone through and counted to see which ones are individual per per set if that makes sense so it is just a digital file download it comes with a, a pdf file of a color swatch so this way you can do your color swatching on this with your original your colors here and then your name or numbers i would just do numbers because it's easier faster on that one with your color blend on the top so it's it's included in it I just felt that I had it so I would share it um, I think that's all I have any questions please list them down below and I will be back soon with some comparisons between the Ohuhu both brands and or both lines and then also with my Copic so I'll kind of try to show you the difference between them so I hope you have an amazing rest of the day bye